Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making pancetta and black lentil soup. And this recipe is from Tuscany, the place of inspiration for the most talented artists like Michelangelo and Botticelli and of course the most flavorful food. So let's get started. You go going to need a cup and a half of cubed pancetta, one large onion cubed, two stalks of celery cubed, you're also going to need a half a cup of chopped parsley, two cloves of garlic minced, you're also going to need a cup and a half of black lentils, you can use the ones in the jar, just drain them, or you can cook your own. And you're going to need a half a cup of farfalini, which is just the fancy name for this small bow tie pasta. Or you can use spaghettis broken into one inch pieces. And you're going to need some spices, which is salt, pepper, and some shallots. And you will need two liters, which is about eight cups of vegetable broth. We're going to start by heating up a medium-sized pot and we're going to dry fry our pancetta. Dry frying means using no oil because the oil that's in the pancetta is going to help us to saute the onions. So add one large cubed onion to that. Then we're going to add our minced garlic and we're going to mix it all together. And we don't need to fry the onion, just as long as it's translucent is good. Then we're going to add our cubed celery. Just saute it together for a couple more minutes and we're ready for our spices, which are pretty simple. It's just salt, pepper and dry freeze shallots. And shallots are going to add a nice flavor to the soup. Now it's time for black lentils and I use the ones from the jar. I just drain them and wash them and we can add them to the soup. And we need to add our broth, which we need to heat up because the temperatures in the soup have to match. Add eight cups of hot vegetable broth, or you could use the ham broth, which I couldn't find anywhere. And we're gonna close the lid and simmer it for about 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, we're just gonna mix the soup and it's time for our pasta. We're going to throw in half a cup of pasta, simmer it for about just 10 minutes or whatever directions on your pasta is and our soup is ready. The last and finishing touch is fresh parsley. Then we're going to turn off the heat and let our soup rest for just 5 minutes and it's ready to be served. Serve your soup right away and enjoy it. And if you noticed, I haven't used any carrots because I tried to stay to the original recipe. But if you'd like, you can use some carrots in that soup. Just use half a cup of cubed carrots in your saute. And your soup are gonna be a little bit more colorful. And it's time for us to taste the soup. Yes, taste your soup. And it tastes absolutely delicious. I hope you like this recipe brought to you from a beautiful region of Tuscany. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.